Okay, I just wanted to do a video on um, like how to make a model for like a fire station or something like that. Um, this was the one I picked. Yep, this picture here. So I just right clicked it and copied it and then pasted it into Lightburn. To find out like the scale you're going to want it. Um, if you go to Lightburn you can see these garage doors are about 16 feet tall this is roughly the size that I want you know the model to be on my laser so and I'm just going to measure that and you can see down there <coughs> it's right about three inches so I'll go to the scale converter and type in a scale of three inches and you can see like that what I've got on there is going to work out a 164th scale and then really it's just a matter of like copying around you know what you see you can turn off the output of this and then you'll have you know it's not quite so dark I'll leave it on for a minute um, I mean the best way is just start with these big squares and just draw out a big square so yeah I'm going to put that one there then these garage doors, well we know they was 3 inches tall and they're about 2.9 wide. Could just make it the 3 inches and then it would be 16 feet square but I'm just going to match it up with what I'm seeing here. So now just um, I duplicate it, then you want to hold shift and move it across so it stays on that same line. Line it up with that door, duplicate it again, hold shift. Yep, duplicate it again, shift. Okay, in this small door, I'm just going to go around it. Right, you just want to turn off the photo for a minute. Well, you just control, you can control and click and then say everything from the outside. I don't know why that's not working on them all when I group them, but... should be I'm gonna give this one last try here group select this one first then these yeah I don't know worked that time so all right I'm gonna turn the image back on so now you can see this top part just roughly want to go around that and just go over the other bottom part a little tiny bit or it don't matter if you don't then you can just use your selection tool here to make it you know to put it where you want so you want it just close to that line and then you control and click that line and say everything out of the center so now I'll turn the image off and you can see now it's got this top part on it on this one as well I wanted to add some acrylic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out a square from about here because I'm going to have to try and trap the acrylic in control and click the oh make sure you're on the selection tool control and click the outside and then center them vertically make sure it's in the middle ok that's good for that um, the lines down the bottom here if you did want to like draw in these lines and stuff uh, I mean the best way I know to do it would be to get your pen tool and just draw a line across oh you want this on another layer so change it to a different layer because this is not going to be a cut this is going to be just a score uh, shift and click on the other side like that and now just go to the uh, make sure you select that first go to the array tool and then add your rows and that lines up about good for me you could change it to how you wanted it but uh, just by changing these Maybe I'll 
move it, move it down till it touches the top of the garage door. Uh, I'd say 24. Yeah, that looks about good there. So okay. Now I'm going to turn off the image. So I've got to remove these and this. So okay, the the only way I know how to get rid of these is if you click on it and then just press T. I'll skip through this, but you just want to click on the line, make sure you're hovered over it still, and press T, and it'll cut it back. Okay. So now that's them lines drawn in. That's that. So now if I'm putting a piece of acrylic, I want to, like, as well, if you look at this picture, you can see that on the original building this does actually overhang so I wanted it to overhang the same like that and add the acrylic like the windows so to do that I'll just I'm going to just put this on another layer so it's easier to see drag a square over the top of the whole thing uh, duplicate it and then bring these sides in until they just clear so now your acrylic can fit in here it ain't going to fall through out the back ok so now select that and then select the other purple line so now this is going to be the acrylic holder and then you're going to have to make one more to trap the acrylic in there so to do that just the same thing really, drag out a, a full square again at the top and then this time you can match it back up with the inside and now control and click uh, make sure you're on the select tool you can control and click the purple ones again but you can just select the inside one of this and duplicate it put it up here and change it onto another layer and then maybe even on it just to remind me a type of acrylic ok so that's the piece of acrylic yeah, the nice thing now is you can put your tabs here you can put your tabs you know to hold the back you know to stand it up to make the box you can put them right here and then these will cover it over so you don't see the tabs and if you line these tabs up in the right spot you can actually you know line this wall up you wouldn't see any tabs I'll show you on the final model but yeah that's alright you can see <coughs> the one that we copied out earlier uh, this is the slot over here for the acrylic and then this is the acrylic and then this is the piece that will go on the front um, and finished off them tiles going that way and added and added these just the top and two sides just to you know so it can stand up but yeah that was just a simple you can see the top, I actually got it cutting off with this so it cuts to it once but yeah the top's just got these little tabs which fit into these two sides and then these tabs at the front will fit in the two holes here just keeping it all together I'll print that out and then I can explain it a little bit better from there Okay, that's the acrylic in there. I'm going to send that now.
Yeah, so this is what I meant with the acrylic frame. You can frame the acrylic like this. And now when you glue this one over the top, you got your overhang like the building and you got your acrylic trapped in there. And just as easy you could put a back or you know, you could even make it much better and write the name. Just depends how much time you want to take on it. I was just trying to show roughly for people that didn't know how to do it. But you know how you would do it, so yeah, there you go. Hopefully that can help somebody.